Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to study projection formulas. So before understanding what are the different types of projection formulas, let us first try to understand what do we exactly mean by projection formulas and why do we study them. So in organic chemistry, we would come across molecules which are mostly of three dimensions or 3D structures except for those molecules which are planar would be of two dimensions. So, but the paper that we write on is of two dimensions. So, we have to find out a method by which we can represent these three dimension molecules onto a two dimensional paper. That's where these projection formulas are going to be helpful. So, why do we study these projection formulas? So, that by just looking at these projection formulas on a paper, we can come to know the actual three-dimensional structure of these organic molecules as well as it would be helpful to understand some of the properties of the molecules. Now, let us see what are the different types of projection formulas. So, basically, there are these four projection formulas that is flying wedge formula or wedge dash formula, sawhorse formula, Newman projection formula and Fisher projection formula. There is one more projection formula which is called as Haworth projection formula which is mostly used for monosaccharides, polysaccharides in carbohydrates. So, we would be studying that projection formula in carbohydrates. So, now let us try to understand one by one what these projection formulas are. So, the first projection formula is wedge dash formula. In most of the organic molecules, you would find that the carbon is of sp3 hybridization, which we know that an atom having an sp3 hybridization will have tetrahedral geometry. In a tetrahedral geometry, two groups are in the plane of the paper whereas one bond or group is coming towards you or out of the plane of the paper and one group or bond is going away from you or into the plane of the paper. So, the groups or bonds which are in the plane of the paper are represented by this single line as you can see here whereas the group coming towards you is represented by this bold bond which is called as solid wedge whereas the group going away from you is represented by this dash bond or it is also called as broken wedge. So, that is why this formula is also called as solid wedge broken wedge formula. So, why do we need more projection formulas? Why not only wedge dash formula? So, when it comes to larger molecules, it will be very difficult to use only one projection formulas for representation. That is the reason why we study the other formulas as well. Now, let us see what are the other projection formulas. So, this is the Newman projection formula. So, here you can see this is an ethane molecule and if you look at these ethane molecule from this perspective, you would find that there is one atom that is this black carbon atom which is at the front whereas there is another carbon atom which is at the back of it in pink color as you can see here. So, the carbon or the atom in the front is represented by a dot as you can see here. This is the Newman projection formula. So, the carbon at the front is represented by a dot and the three groups are attached to it at an angle of 120 degree each since the entire circle is of 360 degree and there are three such angles over here and the back carbon is represented by a circle and the three groups as you can see three hydrogens are attached to the back carbon. So, this is the Newman projection formula. Now, what is the use of this formula? So, many times you would see that there is some interaction between the groups attached to the front carbon where I, and the groups attached to the back carbon. Sometimes there is going to be bulkier groups like methyl and tertiary butyl groups which would have steric hindrance which we can study from this 
uh, structure, there would be steric hindrance which would make the structure or the molecule unstable. Whereas sometimes you would find that there is going to be intermolecular interactions like hydrogen bonding which would provide stability to the molecules. So these, in this way we can try to understand some properties with the help of Newman projection formula. Now let us see what are the other projection formulas. So Fisher projection formula. We have already seen this Fisher projection formula wherein there are groups which are represented by horizontal and vertical bonds. We know that the groups or the bonds which are vertical are the groups moving away from you or going into the plane of the paper whereas the horizontal bonds as you can see here are the groups coming towards you or out of the plane of the paper. So this is the basic rule for Fisher projection formula that is the horizontal bonds are the groups which are coming towards you or out of the plane of the paper and the vertical bonds or the groups are the groups which are going into the plane of the paper or going away from you. So this Fisher projection formula is going to be very helpful in representing mostly small monosaccharide molecules in carbohydrates. Now let us see our last projection formula that is the sawhorse projection formula. So sawhorse projection formula as you can see here is represented by this line formula by looking the molecule at a different perspective and here it is a very good representation of the actual three dimension molecule. As you can see the front carbon with its three groups and this line or is the bond connecting the front carbon and the back carbon which you saw in Newman projection formula this bond was not visible but here we can clearly see that. So this is kind of a better version of a Newman projection formula. So these are the two basic conformations of ethane that is eclipse conformation and staggered conformation. So what do we exactly mean by conformation? So a molecule in which there can be rotation possible across a carbon-carbon single bond is called as conformation. So basically there are two conformations of ethane molecule or any such molecule that is eclipse conformation and staggered conformation. So what do we mean by this eclipsed and staggered conformation? So these are the various representations as we saw right now that is wedge dash formula, sawhorse and human projection formula of the same ethane molecule. So here you can see that the groups attached to the front carbon and the groups attached to the back carbon are completely on the top of each other or are completely uh, the front groups are completely hiding the groups at the back or eclipsing the groups at the back. That is why it is called as eclipse conformation. The literal meaning of eclipse. And this is another representation that is the Newman projection formula that is of staggered formula. Here you can see that the groups in the front are not exactly hiding the groups at the back and this projection formula that is the staggered conformation is more stable as compared to the eclipse conformation because of the less steric hindrance as you can see here whereas in eclipse formula you can see the groups are on one another or eclipsing each other due to which there is steric hindrance and hence it makes the eclipsed conformation less stable as compared to the Newman projection formula. So here we come to the end of today's video. In the coming videos we would be studying the interconversions that is how we can convert one projection formula into another and Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel if you like our content. Thank you so much.